The prosecution's first witness is this affidavit from every single member of the defendant's supposed graduating class. Objection, Your Honor. I haven't seen that. Well, then let me read it to you. We collectively come forward to swear the following regarding Michael James Ross. We never saw him. We never knew him. We never heard of him. And it makes us... Okay, guys. So the first word we have is prosecutor or the prosecution. And this is the side that is arguing that the defendant is guilty. They committed the crime or they committed the wrongdoing. Now, the next word is defendant, and this is the person who is being accused by the prosecutor. And we don't know if they are guilty or not, but they are being accused of a crime or wrongdoing. So in this scene from Suits, you can see Harvey is standing up and he is the prosecutor and Mike, who is sitting down, is the defendant. Okay, and the next phrase is your honor, and this is one that's special to law, and it basically means a judge. And a judge is someone who listens to the case and then makes a decision if the defendant is guilty or not. So in this situation, the judge is Jessica, and she's listening to Mike and Harvey present their arguments. So let's watch a funny comedy scene between a judge and a defendant. Careful, Mr. Henry. Right now, you're only being charged with armed robbery. I didn't rob nobody! <laughs> All right, Kenny, I apologize for my client, Your Honor. Apologize for your client. Don't apologize for me. I didn't rob no bank, okay? I don't want everyone in here thinking I'm some kind of bank robber, okay? I don't need the money. I'm a drug dealer. <laughs> Okay, the next word we have is witness, and this is someone who saw the crime occur. So if there's a car accident, for example, usually people will be looking for witnesses. They'll be asking, did you see the accident? Or did you see the individual hit the person and run away while driving? An affidavit, and this is a written statement that is telling the truth. These are sometimes used when a witness cannot be at the courtroom. The last word is to swear. And this isn't saying bad words. No, this is the legal definition, which means to promise what you say is true and not a lie. Here's a great example of someone swearing on the Bible. Do, would you like to affirm or swear on the Holy Book? Swear on the Bible. Do you swear that the evidence you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. Please be seated. So now let's watch it again in slow-mo. The prosecution's first witness is this affidavit from every single member of the defendant's supposed graduating class. Objection, Your Honor. I haven't seen that. Well, then let me read it to you. We collectively come forward to swear the following regarding Michael James Ross. We never saw him. We never knew him. We never heard of him. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this one. If you want to see more episodes of Learning English with Suits, check out these videos right here.